love it with the motion. Something that I mentioned to you last video that I would be covering, and in this video, I will be covering. My name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. PST. Links for my Twitch and all my social media down below. Let's get started. So right now, we're going to assume that you have your Luppet installed and your Elite Motion installed. Now, hopefully, you watched my last video on Luppet on how to get it going and all that fun stuff. Yes, hands. So that process should be good to go now. If you aren't done with the Luppet install, please go watch my video and we can go from there. Leap Motion though, that is actually really, really simple to install. All the instructions in the box, I suggest you follow the instructions. Everybody can do it. It's very, very basic. So right now we're gonna continue on with assuming you have both installed and yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna open up our Luppet and head down to the Leap Motion settings. So this little red dot represents to where the Leap Motion is positioned. So for me, I'm a little bit odd. I don't know why, but I had to put my Leap Motion right up here. Typically you want it down on your chest area but for some reason, I'm weird, mine's up there. You'll have to play with yours to get yours calibrated to the right position so it can properly track your hands. Now, I have tried with the Leap Motion positioned on the monitor by moving the dot over here, going into the Leap Motion settings and trying to get it to capture from the monitor and capture the hands. Unfortunately, it didn't work at all. Like, at all. Nothing worked. So what I suggest is you just put it on your chest. Now there's a couple places you can go for little 3D prints to attach your Leap Motion onto your chest. Links for those in the description below. But I did it the very, very, very cheap way of just buying a little clip, hot gluing my Leap Motion onto it. And well, as you see, Jazz hands, it works. So after you pick the position of where the leap motion is gonna work properly, just hit the save button and you're good to go. The next place we're gonna to go to is leap motion advanced functions. So what this allows us to do from what I understand is have a wider range of area for the leap motion to capture our hands up and down. So what I suggest is you just max both of these out when i did have them lower they didn't capture as much so definitely max it out and you'll get the full view of the screen yay do it try it see how you like it just play with the settings and you'll be good to go so now that we covered all that leap motion is just a fantastic option I'll link to where I got my leap motion down below, but the fact that it tracks every individual digit almost perfectly is just, it's just great. So I suggest you totally go out, buy a leap motion. If you're using it for something like VR chat, glue it onto or attach it to your headset and it just tracks your hands just, just, just so, so great, better than other things I've seen in the past and online. And considering it's only 100 to $150 Canadian or $100 for you Americans, it's a great choice. It really is an amazing choice for you guys to have. So definitely go pick one up today. So today's video was fairly short, but I really wanted to show you guys the simplicity it is to connect your Leap Motion onto your Luffet. So now that we're good to go, yay! You are now ready to use your Elite Motion again. My name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. PST. If you want to talk about anything like streaming, anime, Luppet, Elite Motion, whatever, come on by, say hi, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.